Alright guys, so this is a continuation from my last tutorial where I showed you guys how to take your individual sounds from Redrum and send it to the mixer. If you would like to see that tutorial, you can check it out here. Okay, um, so now that we got our sounds in the mixer, you want to make sure that you name them. Okay, it's very important. Once you finish naming them, you're going to go down to the sequencer. Okay, so we have I have a 9 bar loop that I want to, I have an 8 bar loop that I want to export and I want to take into Logic. Okay, so I'm just going to play it. Cool. So, uh, first things first, you want to make sure that your, your loop is identified. Okay. Also, you want to scroll to the end of your timeline, find the end marker and drag it to where you want the loop to end. If you don't, it's going to export all of this crap right here, all of this emptiness. You don't want that, right? So once you have everything specified, I'm going to go to file. We're going to go to bounce mixer channels and you want to highlight and select everything that you want to be bounced. That's why it's important to name all of your instruments. All right. So we're going to go down range to bounce. Yep. Start to end marker, which we just did. Uh, bounce to, you don't want to bounce the new tracks. We want to bounce outside of reason. So therefore we're going to click, uh, audio files on disk, uh, apply mixer settings. I don't have any settings, any EQs, anything applied to my mixer. So I'm just going to leave that as is, uh, file formats. Everything looks good to me. And I'm just going to click. Okay. Once you click, okay, you want to specify where you want the sounds to be. My desktop is fine. I'm going to click choose and it's done. So we're going to find our folder. And as you can see, all our sounds is to be continued working on in another DAW. Okay. So hope this tutorial helped subscribe, like comment, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.